Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad to Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising a weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for January 7th to January 13th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again that this is a general reading for Taurus star sign and therefore it's going to resonate differently with every single different Taurus so for that reason in this video I will explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread as well as I'm going to give a couple of examples at the end but uh, ultimately you will have to align it to your personal situation just like I'm doing for the examples in this video or if you want me to do that for you I mean to analyze your situation through the tarot, through tarot cards uh, then that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing so uh, this is going to be as well a uh, enhanced tarot spread which means that we're going to draw multiple cards per position and these are the four main cards, Ace of Cups as a topic of your week, Knights of Wands as a core of the situation, we have the Nine of Pentacles which is the challenges that are causing predicaments and the Tree of Swords which is the guidance the Tarot is offering. So for what it seems we do have a love situation most likely, now I'm going to give an example as well for career in case this is a, a, a career oriented reading, for example if you are single and you are disinterested in anybody that is interested in you and you want to focus on your career you can incorporate this reading about your career as well, I mean to have a, a little bit more varieties but ultimately what we do have is a quite of a glee that you are to have throughout this week I mean uh, definitely if you are feeling at that very moment that your life is worthless or meaningless or it doesn't have any driving force well all of a sudden throughout this week your life will start worth living again for one or another reason that is very well displayed here with these couple of cards and mainly with the ace of cups because the ace of cups if, as I said, your life is down in the dumps, it does represent a, uh, unexpected circumstances, unexpected enterprise that happens, which makes, as I said, your life all of a sudden worth living again and all of the current issues and, and, and causes of depression to, to basically evaporate. They, they will simply lose their relevance. They will no longer be uh, on... Um, on the line here and uh, this will transcend your daily reality I mean when you look the world through that overflowing joint that is going to overflow your heart and uh, the additional card to the uh, eight uh, to the um, ace of cups that is going to be the ace to the eight of cups so this here the eight of cups plays a role of the formation of this new uh, this new perspective that it is to happen to you. I mean, uh, let me explain you these cards a little bit uh, better in synergy. So, Eight of Cups represent that even if the current situation isn't uh, very satisfiable, it doesn't mean that it is something extremely disappointing. It could be just, you know, something that it is. Um, that it's something which results are a little bit below your expectations again can qualify as the Eight of Cups and in the same time the Eight of Cups represents the need of a, a fresh wind into a situation and that itself force a, a clamorous belief that a, a better perspective emerges soon well guess what it will be sooner than you think I mean it's going to be in this week in the same week that you have lost clamor into the the, um, uh, how can I place it into the positive development of your undertaking either career or relationship in just the same week you are going to have those circumstances which are going to make your which are going to render your worries uh, uh, in vain or futile so uh, <clears throat> for what it seems here uh, that is going to be as I said quite exhilarating week as uh, you will have the perspective you require or the goal that you require and as well the rear path for it to uh, 
be happy once again. That could relate to a surprising promotion. It could relate as well to surprising suite or that you did not expect to come around. And it's going to be someone that you like as well, I mean, and they like you either. It could be as well, you know, the um, the circumstances where your partner in your relationship after a, a very strong fight from which you thought that this relationship is over, they suddenly make it up for you with a, a surprising gesture for for one or another reason, like ticket for holidays, uh, like a, a big bucket of flowers, and etc, etc, and, and that renders your worry worry is completely futile uh, but the thing is why that what why this is happening we do have the Knights of Wands here and that's what I said that it is most likely a romantic endeavor here it is because the night and and especially for those which are single by the way because the nine of Wands is very playful car it is someone who likes to explore who likes to try right so that could be interpreted in one way that if, for example, if uh, you are in already established relationship, you know, your partner tried something which you seriously find as wrong, that disturb you greatly, and they realize their mistake, you know, and, and they're, they're trying to make it up for it. Or again, as you are single, that could be the person that approaches you, and if that's so, this is a very handsome person, either a woman or a male as well. Uh, they are very playful, and they are very passionate as well. So you can, uh, you can expect that these people are to chase you as, as long as they are finding you interesting. Now, the, the thing with them is really the word interest. So you have to constantly be able to be interesting for them, otherwise they will just lose interest and they will move to someone else. So until at least you seal the deal with uh, with that person through dating, phone calls and chats and etc, etc, you should constantly remind them of your presence. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Ace of Wands and obviously that is a new created passion and again it could be the resuscitation of one's passion into already current relationship that one thought is about it is almost died or it's dead all right so this these cards are proving you or your partner wrong for the um, for the state of the relationship itself now um, these couple of cards as well, they are very strong uh, energy type cards. I mean, they are very explosive. And while the momentum of, of their energy to fix the things, to, to, to find new reasons why should you move on with your, uh, with your enterprise or undertaking here, either relationship or a project, you need to know that also one burns out very, very quickly. I mean, it's strong momentum but it's very short duration momentum. So you have to be vigilant, if I may express it that way, so you can catch the tide and find your way through. And you will be able to. Now the Ace of Wands as a core of the situation also points that that could be a, a brand new enterprise for you, most likely. It is the brand new uh, enterprise for you. That will going to give you the prerequisite to solve a, a huge issue on your behalf, huge issue into your career, that could give you this promotion or a or a, a a yearning project or a huge issue into your relationship which will be able to save your relationship all right so this is how that week is going to go it's going to be very very busy week and emotionally thrilling one now the problem here however nine of pentacles accompanied with the seven of swords we do have passive uh, enemies. So what these cards are telling us here is that <clears throat> as you have such a big opening without even knowing it because the Seven of Swords is a, a circumstantial card, is a catalyst, without you even knowing it you may act a little bit more selfish or towards your ultimate goals disregarding the goals of others and uh, this card here also points that, um, how can I place it, you may neglect uh, your playfulness 
and be more serious in a sense of storming situations instead of being calm uh, let me put it that way instead of being calm and professional for example regarding this project here as soon as it's given to you to be very impulsive to be very uh, a, a warmongery if I may express myself that way as well you know and to uh, completely disregard other people's uh, affections from the project itself which surely is going to uh, win you a little bit of an enemy on your enemies on your behalf as well. And unfortunately, with these cards, um, it is possible that you daydream in a sense to daydream about the ultimate value of the goal itself. So at the end, you again may end up a bit disappointment, uh, a bit disappointed, but it will depend how. Um, dreamy you are i mean for those tauruses which are very grounded which which are very objective and which likes to analyze before they actually uh, invest into something well it's not going to be a disappointment at all again these are predicaments that you can overcome easily as long as you know you don't you you're not you don't rush the things and uh, in the same time those who are daydreaming and they are always positive to maximum capacity I mean they think that at the end they will have it to an ultimate extent even beyond their expectations well that may be a bit of a disappointment here uh, it, and on top of that the whole endeavor here is going to require more efforts that you have originally anticipated so here we are seeing that you may lie to yourself about how prepared you are to take it and that's why it's important here what we said about this is a guy who researches and that if that is you then you also have to make some researches as well but again this is a huge momentum that you will have to really make your life much better emotionally wise right but uh, again uh, guys you should not uh, how can I place it mm. consider the possibility infinitely but at certain point take it it is just you have to be very objective about how far that thing could go and, and don't get me wrong it could go very far but how much time is going to require well that is also a different topic maybe you are going to be a bit un unrealistic for the time frame for example if that is a, a good project of yours you know that it is given to you regarding career uh, you may think that you we are going to wrap it up for a, a I say couple of months and you will have the benefits from it while it will take you let's say six months to do it and uh, that will be a disappointing from your behalf so just be grounded and uh, objective towards your endeavors and definitely you are going to have a lot of emotional satisfaction of how the things are moving in every single direct direction in your life throughout that week and the last card that is the guidance which Taro is offering to you this is the tree of swords followed by the uh, page of cups so here we do have the tenacity of making or of taking the change that this uh, circumstances is offering to you so Taro advises you to uh, well to acknowledge you know the poignant experiences that you do had in the past you know either with failed relationship or with failed projects um, or with failed endeavors in general you know but that should not be a prerequisite of you being scared to take on the new challenge here not even a challenge but onto new opportunity should i say it that way that should only serve you as a lesson you know how you should not do the things this time around and one of the examples here is not to overestimate uh, overestimate the uh, the end results for one or another reason but definitely you have to prepare yourself for for a, a major changes because this as a guidance as well say that that opportunity that you're going to have here that circumstances either a uh, a resuscitation of one relationship a appearance of a new suitor new project or um, you know a, a promotion or, or a new job that is a as i said prerequisite of a, a big changes coming in 
further into the future. It will take a little bit of a time. It could take cup, uh, uh, one, uh, half a year, excuse me, for one couple of months for others. Definitely is not going to be this week or the next week for that matter because the page of cups here develops very slowly but it is always a, a sign of, a, as a circumstantial card, as a sign of big change coming in. It is just you have to be, ah, uh, how can I say it? Um, well, I will say it professional enough to see where that change is coming from and to a very smartly adapt to the situation itself or to that approaching and looming change because these cards here are pointing the current positions or rather like a, a current understandings as well as positions and uh, strategies even are a bit outdated it's gonna take time for you to um, to align and you have time it is just you you need to have that agility of your mind to realize that you have to adapt a little bit or you have to change your positions and your understandings a little bit so you can take adva full advantage of that looming change from the horizon. So this is the general view of the cards and now a couple of examples so let's say career like like said here that could be a, a well expected development here of either a big project coming in or a promotion or if you're jobless that could be a new job something that you could very well imagine for yourself in the future uh, in the past or you have imagined uh, like this man if I could have that I could have create great things and um, for instance, you know, you had a friend of yours or you have a friend of yours who is working that awesome job and you're thinking of yourself, you know, man, if I had that job like he is having, I would have done so much better than he is and I would have been so much successful than he is. Well, guess again, well, you, you will have an opportunity this week to, to make something like this. And it's just you should not believe uh, that it is... The whole thing is fairy tale. It's something celluloid, but you need to know that it has its pros and cons. Uh, that it needs its time to um, to develop. And as well, aggression is the worst thing that you can do, especially if you are to fight with coworkers or with bosses, for that matter. As uh, <clears throat> this thing that whatever it is, as I said, new project, job, or promotion, or whatever, is going to be a, a trampling for you that it is forming right now, and is going to be uh, completely formed in a couple of months or six months for that matter that is going to give you a the prerequisites for a huge change in your life opening opening a private business you know becoming an executive di director and etc etc i mean the possibilities are uh, almost infinite so this is about a, a brief career uh, example and regarding relationship so this is in an exhilarating thing here, a, a moment of glee, either because of the appearance of your suitor in case you're single or because your partner make it up for you for the reason that they have that, done something wrong here and they realize that that was not correct what they did, all right, they have just tried it, they saw your reaction and they kind of like, uh, sorry for it you know they're making it right for it so what you should not do here is truly giving place to your rage it's kind of like something like they tell you baby i'm sorry and you i told you so you did that you did this blah 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 and etc etc so that is the last thing you want to do it is best to keep it silent if you do kind of bury rage uh, rage within just go to a boxing uh, boxing arena box with someone go to fitness you know play some sports and etc etc just to get that rage out just don't get it um, upon your uh, don't kind of like exert your wrath upon uh, the people you love or the people that you want to be with as well and remember that this makeup here is going to be a, a prerequisite for a, a big change coming in uh, in your relationship most likely it could be related to pregnancy as well as we do have here now in case you're single there is going to be an expected suitor a very handsome one like I said 
someone very interesting but again you got to keep in uh, you got to keep their interest fed and the last thing you want to do here with these cards is to show how difficult you are the more difficult you are and the more uh, you are kind of like uh, don't pay attention to them the more interest they are going to lose and you will be left empty handed and again here uh, these cards are pointing a little bit different thing they are showing that you are going to obtain a, a different vision in future relationships in case this doesn't work out for like living uh, living happily ever after uh, you will obtain a different vision you know how one should approach potential suitors so uh, that was the tarot reading now let's see uh, what the Lenormand cards has to say for you now the Lenormands are about to show us a uh, event that uh, you should either look forward to or try to avoid for one or another reason the first one this is the home and the home the house excuse me the house is associated with home is associated as well with house family and domain uh, the next one that is going to be the fox and the fox is associated with work co-worker is associated as well with clever and is associated with lies and the last one this is going to be uh, the letter. The letter is associated with email, is associated with news, is associated as well with invitation and documents. So this could play out in many, many different ways. That could be an invitation to work for different domain, right? That could be as well a, a false news, a false news regarding your home or regarding your domain. Okay, or that could be documents that you have to be very clever about, you have to be very suspicious about. Again, regarding your domain or regarding your house. It is just, if nothing else from that message, you have to be suspicious for any information that comes in your behalf and really double check it so you can uh, scale what you know to be true against the fantasies because with these cards here, it's very possible that it will be difficult to um, not difficult but it, it is most likely that the fantasy the fantasies that someone is selling to you or you're reading somewhere are, are very close to the truth but not quite so you have to be very careful about it so that being said Tauruses this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, January 7 to January 13th 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, this was a general reading for Taurus star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different level for every single different uh, Taurus. Uh, in this video, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But again, uh, you have to align them to your personal situation as every Taurus will have a different situation from the next Taurus in the line. Uh, so if you want your situation to be analyzed just like I did for the examples in this video through Tarot uh, by me, then that is a subject of personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you, you will going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.